Heavenly Father, we come to you today to ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding so that we can walk in your will and in your ways. And we say all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 2 Chronicles 33 Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem but did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, like unto the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places, which Hezekiah his father had broken down, and reared up altars for Belim, and made groves, and worship all the hosts of heaven, and serve them. Also he built al altars in the house of the Lord, wherefore the Lord had said in Jerusalem, Shall my name be for ever? And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven, in two courts of the house of the Lord. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also he observed times, and used enchantments, and used witchcraft, and dwelt with familiar spirit, and with wizards. And he wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. And he set a carved image, the idol which he had made in the house of God, of which God had said to David and to Solomon, his son, In this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen before all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. Neither will I any more remove the foot of Israel out of the land which I have appointed for your fathers, so that they will take heed to do all that I have commanded them, according to the whole law and the statutes and the ordinances by the hand of Moses. So Manasseh made Judah the inhabitants of Jerusalem to err and to do worse than the heathen whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel. And the Lord spake to Manasseh and to his people, but they would not hearken. Wherefore the Lord brought upon them the captains of the host of the kings of Assyria, which took Manasseh among the horns, and bound him with fetters, and carried him to Babylon. And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his God, and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers, and prayed unto him, and was entreated of him, and heard his supplication, and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord, he was God. Now after this he built a wall without the city of David on the west side of Gihon in the valley, even the entering in at the fish gate and compassed about Ophel, and raised it up a very great height, and put captains of war in all the fenced cities of Judah. And he took away the strange little g gods of the idols out of the house of the Lord, and all the altars 
that he had built in the mount of the house of the Lord in and in Jerusalem and cast them out of the city and he repaired the altars of the Lord and sanctified thereon peace offering and thank offering and commanded Judah to serve the Lord God of Israel nevertheless people did sacrifice still in the high places yet unto the Lord their God only now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and his prayer unto his God and the words of the seers that spake to him in the name of the Lord God of Israel behold they are written in the book of the kings of Israel his prayer also and how God was entreated of him and all his sin and his trespass and the places wherein he built high places and set up groves and graven images before he was humbled behold they are written among the sayings of the seers. So Manasseh slept with his fathers, and they buried him in his own house. And Ammon his son reigned in his stead. Ammon was two and twenty years old when he began to reign. And he reigned two years in Jerusalem. But he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Manasseh his father. For Ammon sacrificed unto all the carved images which Manasseh his father had made and served them, and humbled not himself before the Lord as Manasseh his father had humbled himself, but Ammon trespassed more and more, and his servants conspired against him and slew him in his own house. But the people of the land slew all them that had conspired against King Ammon and the people of the land made Josiah, his son, king in his stead. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious word. We thank you for writing it on the tablets of our hearts. Lord, I thank you for everybody that is listening to this, the sound of my voice. Please bless them and guide them and surround them with your peace and your knowledge. Help them know of you personally. Lord, I'm very grateful that you are teaching me your word and you're opening it up to me and I'm very grateful. Lord, I ask that all my brothers and sisters be protected and strengthened not that their troubles may go away but that they may be strong enough to handle them and to have the peace and love and joy of you Lord and know that the cloud of saints are cheering them on. Lord, I thank you for choosing us to be right here, right now, in this time, in these evil days, as we see the Bible being fulfilled and witnessing it. I thank you, Lord for giving us that precious, precious gift. 
Lord, you are amazing, and I am very grateful. I say all of these things in the name of Jesus, my Ishi Yeshua, my Lord, my Savior, my Shepherd, my King of Kings, my Lord of Lords. Amen and amen. Thank you for listening. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.